Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Imperial Agent Edition. Now, when we left off, we had just gained the mission The Cult of Kai Sazen, and we are now going to be scanning the first triangulation point. We'd also met Dr. Loken as well. He seems like a very... Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. A very interesting character, quite shady, and it doesn't appear as though he's really willing to give up that much information even though he seems to be giving information, I feel as though that information is always guarded. But who knows? Who knows what is going to happen here? So let's use the triangulation device. And then use our holo communicator. This is Chance to Leggett. Come in, Leggett. I know you're busy, sir, so I'll keep it short. Any progress finding Kai Sazen? I met a Dr. Lokin at Nason Godera's lab. He thinks Sazen is raiding facilities across Terrace. I'm en route to one now. That's great. That name rings a bell, though. Hold on. Dr. Eckerd Logan, Imperial Intelligence. Twelve confirmed kills over thirty years. Not a lot in the file. Be careful with that man, okay? And contact me when you find anything. If this is how you treat a defector, I'd love to see you manage Republic personnel. You have a great deal of field experience. I respect that. And for the record, I don't agree with how Master Koth is using the command codes. I'd like to make up for it. Ah, well, he seems like a rather nice fellow. I, that's exa exactly what I thought when we first met him. He seemed like a very personable guy. And, well, I'd like to repay him in kind, I suppose. So, you know, if he's going to be nice to us, then we'll be nice to him, but obviously that's likewise with the somewhat harsher fellows. We are obviously going to be harsh to those people, but we're going to see if, in fact, Dr. Loken is a harsh fellow. Never mind anyone else. I'm, yeah, just going to be dealing with him. Obviously, as time goes on, we're going to see how that works out, especially on Taras. Taras, anything can happen, as we know back in the events of Knights of the Old Republic. Taris, how would you know? How would you know that it would be so heavily destroyed by that Sith Lord? Oh, yes, uh, who would know? Who would know who it was? Well, well, let's just see what the second triangulation point has to say. Probably another holo communicator? No, not another call. Okay, well, chance is not really being that friendly now, but now I'm just kidding, of course, but. Let us move on to the third triangulation point, which is just across the road here. Fantastic. I really do not like traveling on Terrace as much. Mainly, it's actually not bad traveling on Terrace. It's just many of the areas are very far away, and you're going to need to travel reasonable distances. Whereas on, for example, Hoth, there we have a problem. And there is another holo communicator call. So, let's do it. Siphon, I think we have our lead. I'm receiving faint signals from an old Teresian transport station. Were I a betting man, I'd say our bio-research lab, our Jedi's next target, is in there. Any idea where Sazen is now? None. And I can't even say whether she'll visit the facility personally. That's where your field expertise comes in. I look forward to your findings. Aha, uh -huh. excellent. Okay, so no more scanning for triangulation points. Now, ah, we are actually very close by to the bio research lab. Fantastic. Okay, well, what I have so far discovered, or at least what I have decided on doing, is in the, well, when we get to the next planet, I feel as though I'm probably going to be doing a couple of heroic missions on there, and that will be off screen, just to let you guys know, because obviously I've already done an episode that focuses on heroic missions, and I feel as though it would be somewhat redundant if we were to do another one, because, well, it's relatively the same thing both times, and there's not too much story involved either, which is, I have to say, quite unfortunate. I really do like some story with some side quests, but for the main part of many of those quests, it seems that they were quite minimal. So I am just going to be doing those off screen. Just a couple, I think probably five or six heroic missions is the standard. And that will keep us up to level with the actual planet in question. I'm not entirely sure what planet we are going to next. But whatever it is, I will be doing heroic missions 
there and we'll get a couple more pieces of loot as well so that's going to be really nice to upgrade our gear and then we'll just head on I suppose and maybe if we get enough experience from the heroic missions then maybe just maybe we'll be able to skip the story well planet story should we say entirely of the next planet as well but if we are unlucky then obviously we'll just have to do more heroic missions as well but I'm not too worried about that to be honest I really don't mind doing those they seem relatively easy and they do make it very simple to do considering they give you a really nice quick travel item and that particular item obviously transports you to the required location and then you're very easily able to do whatever you so desire at the point of opponents and various other hostiles but yes well that's just my plan anyway that is the plan for the next planet right now however we just need to make our way through here Ooh, okay I've been talking and I haven't really checked out the map so the bio research lab is all the way over here and then all the way over there so yeah it's actually gonna take a long time to get there and as a result I will cut away and I'll see you once we arrive Okay, so we have uh, traversed the entire environment, as you can see. Look at that. That took quite some time. But as you see here, we actually have a Chronicle item. And I feel as though this must be here for a very specific reason, and it must be for this phase. So, we may as well interact with it. You left Tasla because I asked. You told your kin to fight for the Republic and be paid in land and weapons. You've done well. But I swore I wouldn't abandon you on that festering pusshole of a world. My chosen bear my message, and I'm coming to Terra soon. Oh my. Okay, so it appears... Oh no. Okay, well... We may not actually be end up doing this, unfortunately enough. I really would have liked to, but... Ah, uh, yes. I'm gonna guess that it is going to explain the story of how she came to this planet, perhaps? Maybe something along those lines, but yes. Running around all of the environment of Taris is something I definitely do not want to do. It is toxic enough as it is. I really do not want to do anything more on this planet than I have to. And I'm going to guess that the next planet's going to be something like Hoth or something. And then I'm going to be, oh, yes, shaking my fist and all kinds of things at it. But what we are going to be doing right now is making our way through these Nikto forces. I am probably not, ooh, wait a minute. No, only 14,000 bonus. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. I think I'm just going to be heading onward. Not really going to be worrying too much about the bonus. If I'm able to do it or get close to doing it, then of course, no problem there. And I'll actually make an effort. Maybe I'll just kill these on our way. Might be an idea anyway. There we go. Very nice. Nice follow through right there. And maybe we'll be able to take down that guy. There we go. And Kaleo finished off the last one. Thank you very much. So... Let us head on to our next destination. I actually have no idea what's going on here. There seems to be... Ah, there seems to be a downstairs. Of course there is. Okay, so let's jump down here and we can make it a lot... Yes, a lot more complicated. Yes, I was about to say, oh, it's going to be a lot more simple. Just jump down here, no problem at all. But no, there appears to be some weird layout. Oh, Never mind, there appears to be a doorway right there. That was actually very well camouflaged, I feel. Although on the map, you can actually see there is a slight gap in the wall. So that was my bad. That was definitely my bad. So we'll just eliminate all of these guys, thank you. And it seems like we might actually be able to do the bonus mission. Well, we'll see, shall we? Let's just take out those guys, no problem at all. And another nice penetrating blast right there too. Okay, so let's head up here. And we will be interacting with the Nikto. Big one up ahead. Nice horns. You are not to be here. You are not welcome. You must be Kai Sazen's henchman. You speak her name. You are not worthy. Die! Ooh, that 
escalated rather quickly. I was not anticipating them to attack so readily, but oh, whatever the case, we must eliminate Chavuk. And there we have it. Now we will speak to him. Striking at the servants of Kai Sazen, you have sealed your fate. I may die, but she will never be defeated. W what are you talking about? Why are you so devoted to a Jedi? Kai Sazen saved my people. She was only a Padawan when she came to Tasla and slew the Spine Dragon of Mdweshu. It was she who brought the Nikto to Taris. We swore our lives to her, and I will tell you nothing. You'll talk, sooner or later. Improvised interrogations are my speciality. For example, this is a bio-research lab, isn't it? What do you think would happen if I injected you with these chemicals? You would not. I bet he would. Of course, I should probably test the dosage on your men first. Enough! I will not. I will not allow that. We came to find the secrets of the Ultrawave Transmitter, a machine crafted by Nassan Godera. Its signals are the song of the Rakuls. It controls their colonies. When it is ready, they will be her army. What's a Jedi going to do with a Rakgul army? She will rule the stars, but not yet. The Ultra Wave Transmitter was never completed. That is our task. The three chosen of Kai Sazen, each with our own mission. I was to obtain Rakgul biological research from this, the laboratory of Dr. Durant. The chosen Boker seeks data on colony movements. The chosen Fentar seeks a Republic scientist, Dr. Iana Sell, to complete the device. They will triumph soon. What about the Jedi? Tell us where to find her. I have told you of my brothers so they may meet you in battle, but I will tell you nothing more. I appreciate your help. Don't take this personally. Let's get out of here, then maybe call for reinforcements. This is Legate to Chance. We have a situation with Kai Sazen. Chance here, sir. I'm listening. Building a Rat Ghoul army with the Ultra Wave Transmitter? Why? She has two more sets of followers, then. One going after this Republic scientist, one after the Rat Ghoul colony data. We'll have to split up to stop them both. We need to divide our resources. I'll try to find our scientists before the Nikto do. If this Dr. Cell works for the colonists, I should have a shot. You need to figure out where they'd go for Rat Ghoul colony scans. I'll talk to Dr. Lokin. He knows the science and he knows Taris. He could be our lead. I was afraid you'd say that. All right, but don't trust him. Chance out. Ooh, okay. Well, without further ado, let us make our way on to Dr. Lokin. Where is he? He is all the way down there at the abandoned Gadera Laboratory. Now, thankfully enough, there is a quick travel point which we will make excellent use of right now. And, well, we're going to be right outside. So, all we have to do is stroll on in and speak to Dr. Loken. Now, we do want to use a experience boost here. There we go. Thank you very much for that. And we will now be making our way over to Dr. Loken. Okay, so we are now entering the laboratory once again and speaking with Dr. Loken, a rather shady character. Cypher, back with hardly a scratch. And here I am, practically electrocuting myself on Nason Gadera's equipment. How embarrassing. Kai Sazen is trying to use the Ultra Wave transmitter to control rat ghouls. But she needs data on Ratgul colony movements. I want to stop her servants from getting it. My, that is worrisome. Ratgul's are a hobby of mine. If I wanted Ratgul colony data, I'd set up a sensor net to collect field readings. If I didn't have a sensor net, I'd use the settlers' sensors along the military front lines. Full of data your friends will want, unless you claim it first. You're a useful man to have around. Thank you. And I'm not finished. My own recipe of culto derivative combat stimulants. Medicine to make you more deadly. Against your enemies, you'll need it. 
So we grab the data before the Nikto do and shoot the ones in our way. Good times. Ooh, okay. That seems like a rather gutsy move. Well, let's take the crystals, thank you very much. We're going to be needing those a little bit later on, I would say. Seeing as we do have two items that we can actually mod, so... Oh my, that appears to be a rather fair distance away, doesn't it? Well... Whatever the case, I am going to be teleporting over to the border assault post, and then maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to take a speeder where we need to go. And I suppose without further ado, I will be cutting away once again, and I'll see you at the first point. Okay, so we've arrived at the location of the, well, what is it, the East Sensor Net, and let us retrieve the data. I can assume that we're going to be getting a holocom call? Or we're just going to be ambushed. Of course we are. Okay, well, let's just use our suppressive fire against the area here. And hopefully they'll all walk into it and kill themselves on that. Sounds good to me. And we will now be heading on to the next one, which is very far away. Okay, well, upon exploring this area, we have advanced to level 43. Can you believe it? Oh, yes. Well, exploration experience is remarkably effective and... Well, we are at the North Sensor Net, so let us retrieve the data here. I can assume we are going to be ambushed once again, but we will be able to deal with them no problem. Ah, yes, they are a little bit further away this time. I'm not incredibly happy about that, i got to say, but we'll do our very best. We'll have to use our normal abilities this time around. There we go. Oh, there's actually one more. Okay, well, a nice follow-through we'll deal with him, hopefully, followed by a takedown. Kaleo, maybe you want to do some damage? Okay, well, whatever the case, she is keeping us alive. And so, we must now head down to the south sensor net. I... oh, I think that might actually save some time. Okay, we are here at the Endar Spire crash site, and we will retrieve the last of the data from the south sensor net, and be ambushed once again by Nikto units. Or maybe not, no? Yes? Okay. Ooh, here we go. Okay, he has a named. He has a named unit, so we are going to be using penetrating blasts against him immediately to sunder his armor. A nice follow-through will follow that. And then a stun to prevent him from doing his, well, his fancy staff footwork right there. And a nice takedown, followed by penetrating blasts once again. And a follow-through. Oh, well, didn't even need that. Um, what, wow, what did we actually just get there? Oh, that's actually a heavy armor belt. Not really anything we want to really concern ourselves with there, but we are going to now make a call. This is Chance to leg it. Can you hear me? Leg it to Chance. I stopped Kai Sazin's servants. They won't be getting that Ragul colony data. Fantastic. I wish my news were that good. Have you been injured? Yeah, blaster burns. But the shrapnel's worse. I tracked down that scientist Kai Sazin is after. She agreed to meet me in the ruins. I was on my way when Imperial scouts spotted me. I ditched them, but I'm bleeding fast. You said the scientist was meeting you in the ruins. Where? Somewhere close by. I'll explain, but I have to be sure. Keyword, onomatophobia. I'm ordering you to my location at Dynamet General. Sending coordinates now. I am on my way to Dynamet General. I'm sorry, Cypher. It's just... I don't want to die like this. They can't resist using it. But you still have your mind. You can still think. That's your escape. Ooh, okay. Well, that has changed my opinion of Chance quite dramatically, but still he is just afraid, really. He is just afraid of dying, so... Well, I guess the only thing we can do now is... save him. And we will save that for the next episode. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.